I'm going to tell you guys something that nobody has either had the idea or the nerve to say. Neither gun control nor any other kind of fucking stupid predominant narrative when it comes to prevent mass shootings, prevent school shootings that is being presented by either the left or the right is going to stop mass shootings or stop mass killings for that matter. You could take every gun in the United States and there would be mass stabbings. Okay? And you could let everybody have every gun and there would be mass killings. The problem is cultural. And the problem is one of inertia. The fact of the matter is, once Columbine happened, the ball began rolling. And it is a ball that will not be easily stopped and will not be stopped by any one singular law or action or even a singular cultural paradigm shift. You will continue to see this. And I'll tell you why. As somebody who lived all his life with bipolar disorder and saw people in group therapy, in remedial programs, in programs for kids who got expelled and shit, all this shit I lived through, I knew that I was crazy, I was fucked up, and a lot of these kids that I saw around me who were my peers were way fucking worse than me. Way more disaffected, way more violent, way more antisocial, way more distrusting of humanity, you know, way more despairing, to, for lack of a better term, than me. People were fucked up. I met many potential school shooters, and I was so myself antisocial, so I struggled, you know, until I was in college, really, to find friends and to connect with other people and to have any sort of feeling of companionship at all, let alone close friendship with people my age, that I was, I wouldn't say I was ever a potential school shooter or a suicide risk, but I was, I was super fucking edgy. I was super, fuck all these people, who the fuck are these people, who the fuck am I, what the fuck is this bullshit? I thought the entire world and all of the society around me and the thoughts and motivations of everybody I knew to be fucking stupid bullshit. And didn't help that I was raised by a single parent who, you know, through my formative years was only dating fucking scumbags who I loathed and hated. And, and my male role, role models were crack addicts and fucking wife beaters and shit. It was bad. It was really fucking bad. So I was... I was a potential school shooter. Now, it was never going to happen. But I met every kind of criteria of all these psychopaths who do this shit. And what does our society offer them? Nothing. Nothing. Our society offers these people fucking nothing. And social media has only accelerated and, and amplified the fact that kids are horrible to each other. Middle school, everybody's fucking horrible to each other. High school, people are really fucking horrible to each other. And with the culture at large saying everything you feel, everything you think, and everything you are is hugely important. The whole world is exactly how you see it, kid. You are right no matter what. Everything you feel about your identity is right. If you're trans, you're right. If you're gay, you're right. If you're religious, you're right. If you're an atheist, you're right. Everything you do is right. And then the kid thinks, my whole world is misery. My whole world is loneliness. My whole world is hatred. I fucking hate everybody and everything around me. Am I right too? Don't I get my fucking pat on the back? And that kid starts to twitch. And that kid starts to be really fucking angry. And that kid doesn't find answers anywhere. That kid has no outlet anywhere. And all it takes is this, this successive pushes. No father figure. Mom treats him like shit. He's bullied at school. The girl who's the, 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 the love of his life doesn't care a shit about him. Uh, anybody who's ever respected him has bullied him. Everybody who's ever hated him 
has tortured him, he has nothing, nothing to feel good about. But he has a gun. And he has a world that should be punished. Because no matter what he does, no matter what he thinks, no matter what he feels, no matter what he attaches himself to, everything around him lets him down. Everything around him hurts him. Everything around him betrays him. He can't sleep at night. He goes to school and he hates school. And then he goes home and hates his family. And then he goes to bed and tries to sleep and he can't fucking sleep. And every minute of his life is fucking hell. So he begins to dream. He begins to, begins to delude himself. And here's the point where some kids find religion. Some kids find conspiracy theories. Some kids find video games. Some kids find movies. Some kids find music. Some kids find fucking mosh pits and metal. Who knows? Here's where some kids find an outlet. But some kids who are completely disenfranchised don't find any outlet at all. And they just begin to fester. They begin to rot. They begin to go beyond feeling sad and innocent. Or, uh, not innocent. They be go beyond feeling sad. They be go beyond feel begging for mercy and, 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 and groveling. And they begin to feel rage and hatred. They begin to hate. Literally hate. Not just, oh, I hate that movie. I hate that song. I hate when my friend does this. No, they, they hate they dehumanize. They they feel such a perverse level of disgust that there's nothing. There's there's no way around it. And they begin to feel like a human being in a world of insects. They they begin to grow literally, and I do mean literally, and I do mean fucking literally psychopathic. They lose the ability to feel human empathy to put themselves in other people's shoes. They only see the worst and the lowest and the most base in everyone around them. And I know this because I lived this. You know, I never hurt anybody like, like uh, in this way. Okay, maybe I've been in fights. Maybe I've ruined relationships. Maybe I've said horrible things to people I cared about. But I never, I never like did this. But I know what it takes to do things like this. And I know if it wasn't for that altruistic core of my human heart that is at the fundamental core of everything I am, that's the reason why I hate social justice warriors, the reason why I hate identitarians, the reason why I hate divisive people, is because at the core of my heart is the, the desire to be understood and to understand and that is is the reverse. The reverse of that is social justice. Social justice is the desire to not understand and to hate. And another way to not understand and, not, and to hate, but at a sicker, more debauched level, is these school shooters. They don't even get to feel a, 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 a kinship with other mediocre fucking losers. They feel a kinship with fucking nobody. Nobody at all. And that's what makes them start to think about killing people. And they don't think about killing people because they want to kill people. They think about killing people because they want to punish the world for being so inhumane and unfair. The same drive that makes people want to, you know, donate their time to charity is, is what makes these burgeoning psychopaths want to kill people to produce a fairness in the world. And their idea to produce a fairness is not to give. Their idea of fairness is to take. And that's why they do what they do. It's that simple. It's that ugly. It's that shockingly basic. It's just math. Either I can add into the situation and be productive, and that's how I can heal the unfairness and inhumanity in the world. They think the world is so lost and so horrible, it deserves to be punished for its sins. It should be, it should be fucking, it should be fucking judged. They don't think, hey, let me help. They think, fuck this world. The only thing it deserves is to be judged. And you can take all the guns away in the world. 
you can you can fucking add every kind of censorship, every kind of stricture, every kind of police state, nanny state bullshit you want. And that disaffected, fucking horrified, sad little child will still begin to fantasize about killing his peers. And he'll do it by any means necessary once he makes up his mind to. That's the world you're faced with. And none of your stupid, superficial, cunty, worthless bullshit about gun control will solve any of it. It's not a, uh, it's not a fucking dodge or a fucking non sequitur or some kind of change of the subject. When a, when a conservative says that mental health care reform is mandatory to prevent this kind of violence, no, that's the only thing that could possibly help. Besides a complete fucking reset button on our worthless, superficial, consumerist, fucking, super, just fucking shallow cunt, so, uh, worthless so, uh, culture. Our culture is fucking garbage. It's fucking trash. It's fucking shallow scum. It is the fucking floating, bacteria-infested scum of a fucking pond. That's what our culture is. I mean, it has shining little gems floating in this sea of fucking sludge, but it's a sea of fucking sludge. And that's what produces these kids. But the thing is, even if we lived in Pleasantville, in 1950s fucking Leave it to Beaverland, somebody would climb a bell tower and shoot a bunch of college students. As long as psychopaths exist, and they will always exist, this will happen. But the frequency with which this happens is because of culture, it's because of a lack of humanity, and it's because people making their own decisions, that's more than any of what I'm about to say, but what you can do to help as this non-psychopathic, non-ruined individual is to give, is to not promote bullying or and, and, and to be a cool guy. To be the guy that all your friends say, that guy's a nice guy and he reached out to me when I need it. I'm not asking you to be a saint. I'm asking you to be that guy. And the more that guys that exist, the less school shooters will exist. That's the only way. And beyond that, medication needs to be more affordable. We pay more than the rest of the civilized world for medication. Big Pharma needs to be fucking cut down at the fucking knees like the Satan it is. Uh, you need to be able to institutionalize psychopaths. We need to be able to shove kids in a fucking box. In a locked cage when they need to be in that cage. And there are some kids that need to be in that cage need to only be let out when they're trained to be worth letting out. I mean, some kids are animals and need to be treated like animals until they can be made into something like a human being. I mean, that's true too. That's something nobody wants to admit in our fucking nicey nice culture. Because don't mistake me for some bleeding heart liberal. There are some kids that are as much of a monster as any serial killer you've ever met. And they need a lot of help. They need institutional help to have any hope of being anything other than a serial killer. I've seen them. They're out there. So, I mean, that's just what, that's what it is. That's the, that's, that's a fact and you cannot believe me, and you can argue with me, but I am right, and I will continue to be right until a major, major multifaceted paradigm shift happens in this country. And the fact of the matter is, the first thing that needs to happen, and I'll end with this, is you can't keep making notorious superstars out of serial killers. Serial killers need to not be cool and not be interesting. And the media needs to not have a 24 news cycle devoted to school shooters and mass shooters and terrorist attacks. We need to be, I mean, some people are going to hate this, but you need to fucking be lazy about it. You need to not give a shit. I mean, you need to fucking not click on the links, not watch the fucking videos and not watch the fucking CNN about it. You need to donate to something that you think will help and then put it out of your mind. And then you need to, in your personal life, be there for people who need you. That's the only thing you can do. 
There's nothing the government can do to save you. Nothing. This is a cultural thing. This is a human thing. And this is an individual fucking psychopath by psychopath thing. And there needs to be a long, long cultural shift to fix it. It's just a fact. 